Yeah, Kurt, I'm here at Danny Diggs watch party. Diggs is facing off against Monty Mason, and it is close, as Brendan and you just mentioned. And there's a lot of energy in the room right now. Let's go ahead and hear from Diggs to see how he's feeling. Oh, we're feeling good. Hey, uh, the results are a little bit slower. We're a little frustrated by the early voting, but hey, that's the system, that's the process. Maybe next year we'll get that fixed. But hey, it's it's a little bit back and forth. We're still feeling good. It's doable, and uh, we're looking forward to the to the victory this evening. Now, earlier we were at Bonnie Mason's watch party in Williamsburg. The incumbent Democrat has held the seat for 10 years, and he says he's looking forward to continuing the work he has done. So this is how he's feeling tonight, as results are still rolling in. I feel great. I mean, we look, we knew this was a tough race and a tough district from the day it was drawn over a year ago. So we put a plan in place from the beginning. We've been executing the plan, working the plan right up until seven o'clock tonight when there were still students in line at William and Mary to vote. And so we're excited about what we've done. We're very pleased at the effort we've put forward and we look forward to seeing the results. And we look forward to seeing those results too. So stay with News 3 on air and online. We'll get you those as soon as we have them. For now, we're live in Newport News, Ellen Ice, News 3. Ellen, thank you so much. Turning our attention to the South Side, the GOP and Democratic groups holding watch party events and seeing which way the tide turns. And so far, it looks like a nail biter, doesn't it, Kurt? News 3 reporter Jay Green is live in Virginia Beach with the Democrats. All right, Jay, talk about what's been going on there tonight. Yeah, well, Barbara and Kurt, a very active watch party here tonight for Senator Rouse and Michael Fagans at the Holiday Inn here in Virginia Beach. I would say we have about 100, maybe 120 people right here right now. Uh, we just saw Senator Rouse come out a few minutes ago. Uh, he gave a victory speech as well. You can see this is video of him. And as you guys mentioned, there you go. There's the cheers. Uh, a very close race here. He was up against Kevin Adams. And here's what he had to say. I cannot thank you all enough for your dedication and your support and your commitment to get out the vote. You all have sent a message once again that earlier this year, that special election was no mistake. And not only did we safeguard and protect women's rights in January, we are doing it again in this general Now, I also had a chance to talk to Phil Hernandez. He's projected to win in House District 94. Let's listen in to him. I feel grateful, to be honest, more than anything else. You know, this is uh, me on the ballot, and so I will be the delegate elect, but it's really the result of so many people in Norfolk who volunteered their time and their talents knocking on doors. And so this is a big collective effort. It's a collective win for our city, and, and frankly, I'm excited to just get to work. All right, and we will uh, keep track of the Dems here in Virginia Beach. I want to toss things over to my colleague, Margaret Cavanaugh, who's covering the Republicans tonight. Margo. Jay, thank you. Yes, we're at the Weston at Town Center with the Republican Watch Party in the city of Virginia Beach. You can see people are out here. They've been coming into this party all night long. People are watching these races very, very closely. The music is blaring and people are very anxious watching. I'm here with Bill DeSteff, Senator Bill DeSteff from District 20. How are you doing? How are you feeling about your race? We're feeling pretty good about my race. Um, of course, all the results aren't in, but we're pretty confident that we'll win this one. Um, it's been a nail biter for some of these races around the uh, state. We're very excited about it. You know, we had a lot of conversations today at the polls. I worked the same poll from the time we opened to the time we closed. Love it out there and get the opportunity to talk to a lot of folks. You were in the war room, which is where some of the candidates, their family members, their, their tight group go to watch. What is it like in there tonight with these races that are so close and people watching so anxiously to see what's going to happen? Everybody's on the edge of their seat. They're going back and forth. Two, race, two points ahead, one point behind, 100 votes here, two votes there. It's been so close in so many of these races going back and forth. Everyone's just really on the edge of their seats, waiting, anxious, hoping that we could get the results out quicker, but knowing that 
It's all going to be over soon, and we're just waiting to get the rest of the results. Bill, thank you so much, and congratulations. No thank you, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Have a great evening for everybody out there. Thank you for those who voted today. As a veteran, I really appreciate the fact that you took your time out to come out and vote at the polls. We feel it's your patriotic duty, and we're very, very proud of you for voting. That's thank right. you. Thank you, Bill. That's right, Bill DeSteff here at the West End as we are at the Republican Watch Party in the city of Virginia Beach. Back to you guys. Marco, thank you. News 3 is your home for election results all night long. You can head to WTKR.com for up to the minute election results as votes continue to be counted across the region. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and make sure you have the News 3 app on your phone. Do it right now. You can get the breaking alerts as local races are called. It's free to download at WTKR.com apps.